Hello everyone. Today I'll be showing you how to grow baobab from seeds. Now as you can see here, this is the baobab fruit. It's surrounded by this velvety, soft, outer fur. It's very hard, okay? And in order to crack it open, you need to use a hammer or something hard and just pound the, the shell out and it'll crack open into uh, this fruit right here, which you can see. The flesh of the baobab is uh, more like a soft, spongy, white, uh, dry flesh, okay? Now, it's more like a freeze-dried uh, texture, okay? And when you first eat it, and you can suck on it, um, it tastes a bit tangy, more like tamarind. Uh, I don't know if, if you've had tamarind before, but it tastes a lot like tamarind. A little sweet, a little soft, some tartness. Um, very unique taste. Um, and within these white flesh, you can see sometimes inside they have these uh, pea-like, bean-like seeds in them. Like this, you can see the black uh, shadow of the seeds inside. And when you get them out, this is what they look like. They're actually small, uh, bean-shaped little seeds. You can see the outside has a brown coating, but uh, underneath this exists, there's a very, very hard black shell. Now typically, if you don't do anything and you try to uh, just plant them directly into the soil, it takes about three months uh, for it to even start germinating. This is because of uh, the black, um, very hard shell that the root needs to penetrate. But, you know, apparently we have a better way of growing these seeds uh, that would only take about three to five days before you start seeing roots uh, coming out of the seeds. And in order to do that, first, okay, with these seeds that uh, you collected, you have to isolate the ones, the bad seeds from the good. And the way you do that is with a glass of water, you just pour them in and pick out the ones that are floating. You see some of the seeds here floats and some of them sank. The ones that float have a hollow interior and um, they're bad, so you need to pick them out, okay? So, We'll just get rid of the floating ones. So now you're left with the uh, seeds that um, are the good ones. All right, and they're all sinking and everything. So once you isolate the good seeds out, okay, what you need to do now is to take a file. Okay, so here's a file. And you need to file away at one side of the seed so that you reach uh, so you penetrate, penetrate through the black layer, the black sh hard shell, okay? Now if you look at the seed closely, let me pick a, a large one here, okay? There you go. If you look at the seed, it looks a lot like a bean, okay? And you see this little white dot right here on one side of the seed. Now the point that you want to file is the opposite side of where this little white point is. So I'll be filing right here, okay? So now you start filing away, okay? And immediately what you can see is that the outer brown layer gets filed away, leaving a, uh, now what you see here is a black, very hard layer, okay? And the shell, this is the shell that you need to get through, okay? In order for the seed to germinate. So you start filing, okay? It takes about maybe five to ten minutes depending on how good you are in terms of filing the seeds. But what you end up with is, let me show you here. Um, these are examples of the seeds that have been filed. Uh, let's see if we can get it focused. See, you only need to file enough uh, such that you get down to a white dot right here. Once you reach or once you can see a white dot in the middle of where you're filing, then you need to stop because that's 
the uh, the inner layer. If you continue to file beyond this uh, this point, then you would damage some of the uh, the leaves of the uh, of the <clears throat> young plant. Okay, so this is good. So once you filed here, then it's time to stop. The next step, though, once you filed these down to the inner core, then you need to put them into some water. Okay, so you soak the ones that you filed in some water, and I've left these for about two days. You can see that they've swollen up quite a bit. Let me uh, do a comparison here. So you can see the ones that have not been soaked and the ones that have been soaked for two days. They're uh, the ones that have been soaked swelled up significantly. You can see the white dot there that we've filed down to. Now after it's been soaked for about two days, what you need to do is that you need to start from the white dot that you have filed down to and gently peel the black hard layer out. Okay, so it's a bit tough but um, still manageable. Let me see if you can start peeling. Okay. So this will significantly speed up the growth process because now it doesn't have to wait for the black layer to degrade before decompose before the root starts coming out. Okay, so I'm going to peel that slowly. Okay, and you'll see a brown inner layer here. Like you can leave it on or you can remove it. It doesn't really make that much of a difference. So I'm working my way across here and okay and what you get out here is a white inner layer of the seed. You can see the, um, the leaves, the small leaves here that are ready to come out and the roots will come out on the other end okay so once you have these okay uh, the next step what you need to do is that you take a Tupperware or a plastic container lined with two layers of wet tissue paper one on the bottom one on the top and you just place the seed in right here okay and you just leave it for cover it to, to keep the moisture in there and you just leave it like this at room temperature for several days maybe two three days now I want to show you this these seeds have been in here okay the rest of the seeds you can see there's several seeds in here they've been in here for only one day okay so I put these in yesterday and already you can begin seeing some roots coming out especially this one this is only after one day, okay, after it's been in there. You can see the roots are now coming out, okay, right there. And here are the leaves. So at this point, you can, it's ready to be transplanted and planted into real soil, all right. So if you are patient, you can give it a couple more days, maybe a day or two, to let the root... Uh, elongate a little bit more before transplanting them into uh, the soil and a after this stage okay after this stage once the it's been transplanted into the soil it only takes about three to five days to reach this point okay and so now instead of having to wait three months for it to germinate uh, you've reduced the time down to maybe five or seven days to get you know, a real plant coming up above the soil. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. I hope this video helps you uh, understand a little bit more about how to grow baobab from seeds in a very accelerated way. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below and enjoy this video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.